As TVs have gotten thinner, the need for quality soundbars has become increasingly common. Now, just like with any electronic, you could spend a fortune on your next soundbar. However, you might not have that kind of cash laying around to spend on it. The good news is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to purchase a quality one. Today, it's easier than ever to find the best soundbars under $200, and we're going to help you achieve that goal. Number 1. Vizio SB2821D6 This soundbar provides a rich, clear, and spacious sound. You can experience this while you're watching a movie or TV or listening to music. In addition to its beautiful sound, it's very easy to set up. All you need to do is to connect it to the TV with an optical cable, plug in the subwoofer, and plug in the soundbar, and you're set to go. There are a variety of different sound effects that come with it. These sound effects enhance both your listening and watching experience. One of the top sound effects is the True Surround HD option, which gives you a very realistic sound. The True Volume setting also makes sure that the sound level remains consistent at all times. Another sound effect is Dolby Digital Sound, the set standard for cinema, DVD, streaming, and Blu-ray, which gives you a superb listening experience and special effects to mention. The soundbar also pairs with Bluetooth devices within a range of 20 feet. This soundbar is ideal to pair with TVs that are larger than 42 inches. It will fill your room with sound and you can use it to enjoy your favorite playlist, audiobook, or podcast from your mobile device or any other device that's Bluetooth enabled. To make matters even easier, it comes with a remote control, wireless subwoofer, audio cables, and a wall mount bracket. Number 2. Samsung HWJ355 Samsung is a household brand that's trusted among consumers to deliver quality home goods and electronics. This soundbar is no exception. The Samsung HWJ355 is a best-selling soundbar and for good reason. It offers a good sound quality, a wired subwoofer, and an amazing asking price. In addition, the Samsung HWJ355 comes with Bluetooth connectivity, which means you can use the soundbar for devices and other purposes beyond enhancing your movies, games, or TV shows. Any device that has Bluetooth capabilities can be used to connect to your soundbar. So not only are you getting a soundbar, you're getting a speaker as well. Samsung has a very cool feature that they call 3D Sound Plus. This is all about giving the surround sound effect without requiring you to spend a ton of money on a home theater sound system. While this sounds all fancy, you're probably not going to notice any difference in sound. The only thing you may notice is its clear voice technology, which enhances human voices and is designed to render them accurately. If you're someone who constantly has to have subtitles on to understand what everyone else is saying, this feature may be good for you. Overall though, it's a very basic soundbar. It's not going to sound like you're sitting in on a full-on theater or experiencing an expensive sound system. It's just an affordable and cheerful speaker which will improve the sound of almost any flat screen TV. Number 3. Yamaha YAS-108 Yamaha is a well-known name in the electronics business. The YAS-108 is its latest low-price model, and it includes HDMI, several sound modes, Bluetooth capabilities, and 4K pass-through. Despite its smallest size, this soundbar is powerful enough to fill a medium-sized room. It comes with two subwoofers and two tweeters. There's also subwoofers within the soundbar unit, saving you space but not compromising on power. This soundbar is powerful enough to produce bass that will resonate the dialogue. If that's not enough for you, there's also a wired connection that you can use to add a separate subwoofer. In addition to the wired connection, this soundbar has an HDMI input and output and it can pass through 4K video. There's also an optical digital audio or analog connection on the soundbar. Finally, there are also dual Bluetooth connection capabilities, meaning that you can have an Amazon Echo and your mobile device connected at the same time. The remote that comes with the soundbar allows you to switch inputs and adjust volumes, change bass levels, and choose different sound modes. The different sound modes to choose from include surround, clear voice, and 3D surround. One downside of this soundbar is that its indicator lights are not set up on top of the soundbar, which makes it difficult to see if you're sitting down. Despite this minor setback, the soundbar delivers an impressive sound overall, especially given its size and cost. Number 4. Polk Audio Signet S2 From this soundbar, you're getting a well-tuned soundbar and external subwoofer with handsome, glossy finishes and reliable feeling construction. 
The soundbar and sub come prepared right out of the box, and you're getting a slew of common but useful functions. Bluetooth, naturally, different modes for movie, music, and night audio, alternate volume rockers for the soundbar and subwoofer, and three different clear voice settings for use with TV movie programming. Unlike some entry-level soundbars, cranking up the volume on the S2 doesn't introduce distortion or imbalanced frequencies. There's no bass extension. The S2's frequency crossover sounds very well balanced, and even compressed streaming Bluetooth audio sounds very crisp. While this richness can cause movie soundtracks to overpower movie dialogues at times, the clear voice functions, which adjust the bar's frequency response to emphasize the midtones where male and female voices exist, work to stem any muddiness. While it's not a full surround sound system, for around $150 or even $200, the Cigna S2 stands out as one of the best overall sound bars in this price range. You're not getting satellite speakers, but the combination of bar and subwoofer, satisfying bass presence, smart audio modes, and clear voice option, very helpful for streaming content or DVDs with diminished speech audio, makes the S2 the best choice for the most people. Number 5. JBL Bar Studio While it retails for $149, you can find the JBL Bar Studio for as low as $119 online, making it one of the most affordable soundbars to make the list. While that might seem attractive, the Bar Studio is a big upgrade compared to standard TV speakers. There are some reasons you might want to pay a little more. While you're certainly getting more volume, the Bar Studio isn't as robust and crisp as other bars, like the Polk, Cigna S2, or Leviathan. It's a very compact and space-saving product, but at its size, it doesn't have room for the large drivers required to produce a lot of high-quality sound. You can crank it up with separate controls for tweeter and woofer volume. But the overall result is not jaw-dropping. It simply gets the job done. My biggest issue with the Bar Studio is actually the remote. It's a tiny flat controller that's stuffed with buttons. All of the buttons have the same physical dimensions, travel, and tactile sensation. And there are so many packed onto the surface of the tiny remote that it's tricky to figure out what does what at first. It's not a major gripe, but it's one of those little things that makes the Bar Studio feel less valuable than some of its competition. Number 6. Zvox AccuVoice AV200 Soundbar This soundbar is small but delivers powerful, extremely clear and crisp sound. It can fill almost any room. It is very easy to connect and is perfect for people with hearing problems because it makes human voice more distinguishable. AV200 is connected to TV via digital optical cable. It has its own remote and front panel display. The total output power of this soundbar is 24 watts. On the side, you will see power on, off button, and volume control, while the display is located on the front side. On the display, you can see volume level, bass, treble, and other settings, just like you can if output leveling, mute, and accu voice features are on or off. The soundbar can work as a regular soundbar, or you can turn on some of the available modes. Oh well, output leveling feature is there to prevent the commercials from being louder than the rest of the program while ACCU AccuVoice feature is used by people with hearing aids, hearing problems, or people who simply can't understand all the dialogues on TV. ACCU separates voices from the rest of the sound and makes them louder, clearer, and more understandable for the previously mentioned customers. AV200 can be placed in front of the TV, on a shelf below TV, or mounted to a wall. The setup is very easy as the soundbar is connected to TV via one digital optical cable. If you want to connect the soundbar to some other source, you have mini jack port. But there is also a mini jack subwoofer port in case you need more bass. Number 7. Wohome S9920 If you're looking for an affordable soundbar that's great for small and medium sized living rooms, the Wohome S9920 is a solid option. If you have a large living area, the speaker will definitely boost the sound from your TV, but it may be best to opt for a different speaker or add more elements to your audio kit. The Wohome S9920 has six different speaker drivers. The main downside to this soundbar is that it doesn't come with an HDMI cable. No HDMI cable means that you won't have virtual surround sound. If this is a feature that's important to you, you should continue shopping. 
The Wohome S9920 speaker is the best option for someone who is looking to upgrade their standard TV speakers in a smaller medium-sized room. This speaker will provide its user with more character, bass, and volume. The soundbar will enhance games, movies, sports, and your general favorite TV shows will definitely sound better with this soundbar. Number 8. Allegiant Soundbar Allegiant is a USB-powered, relatively small, and quite affordable stereo soundbar. The total output power goes up to 10 watts. It weighs 32 pounds and it has two drivers. It is wired and it comes with non-attachable USB and audio cables. Thanks to its design, you can put it anywhere you want and it will look stylish. You can connect it to your TV or any kind of devices with USB ports. It has small anti-slip feet and it will be able to stay on any surface. The round button on the right side of the soundbar is used to control the volume by rotating it to the left right side and it's easy to use. You can connect headphones, but they should have separate connectors for the mic and headphones. The mids and the highs sound clear and distinctive and we really enjoyed our listening. Number 9. Dell AC511 Soundbar This soundbar weighs approximately 16 ounces and has a total power output of 2.5 watts. It is connected to the power source via a USB cable. It is a very small and lightweight soundbar that will definitely satisfy your basic needs for the better sound quality and greater loudness than your computer or even TV can deliver. On the left side, there is a round button for the volume and two ports on the right. In one of them, you can plug in your phone or any other device with a 3.5mm audio cable. And on the other one, you can insert your headphones in case you want to listen to something in private. The soundbar is simply attached to some of the Dell monitors. You just have to insert the hooks into the holes and slide to the right side. The soundbar will stay attached to your monitor and it will be hardly noticeable. The important thing to know is that the USB cable has to be inserted into the USB port on your computer, not monitor. Number 10. Pile PSB V200BT Soundbar this soundbar offers Bluetooth audio streaming and has built-in FM radio with up to 30 stations as well as USB SD card slots. The soundbar can be connected to any Bluetooth-enabled device in your house, but it also has three stereo RCA inputs as well as one 3.5mm input. It has one 5.25-inch woofer, two 1-inch tweeters, and two 3-inch full-range speakers. It has built-in sound amp as well as EQ configuration and all you do will be shown on a small blue LCD front display. Soundbar's total power output is up to 300 watts. It has quite powerful speakers and it can be controlled by its own remote, by pressing the buttons on the soundbar itself or by using your TV's remote. It can be connected to any of your devices wirelessly and it performs quite well in all modes. The sound quality you get from this device is amazing, at least when the bass is concerned. The soundbar is extremely loud and it delivers amazing low frequency tones, so if you don't want subwoofer and you love bass, this is the right thing for you. 3D feature is great for movies and you can also control the level of bass. Electronic and hip-hop music will sound great as well as movie scenes and a lot of car engine noise or explosions.